Hello, I'm Crunch Kretschmar. Today I'm tasting out some Cabernet Sauvignon wines from California. Welcome to Bottle Grapes, where I uncork Chicago's wine market one bottle at a time. Today I have two California Cabernet Sauvignons. I have the Castle Rock 2007 and the Hess Select 2007. Now both these uh, wines are widely available throughout the Chicago market and at a reasonable price. Now Castle Rock is the fastest growing winery in the industry having sold just over 440,000 cases in 2008 and just a little over 500 and 500,000 cases in 2009. Now it built a reputation for producing high quality wine at an affordable price. So let's give the Castle Rock a uh, taste out here. So. Very nice and uh, rich ruby red colors in there coming in almost looking like a uh, sweet cherry. You know, if you were to crush up some uh, sweet cherries, that would be about the color you'd get out of there. Let's give it a sm smell. <clears throat> nice red berries in there. Um, a little light, not too heavy. Great, almost if you took a fruit roll up and uh, was to uh, heat it up and melt it down, that would be about the smell you get. Kind of almost a uh, candy-ish smell out of there. Mmm, very nice. So let's give it a taste now and see how this works out in the palate. Nice, um, I would say about a medium texture in there, not too heavy, but not too light. Uh, fills the whole mouth, sides up there. A lot of black uh, pepper finish at the end there. Still get that sweet cherry up on the very tip of the tongue. All in all, very good wine. Um, very serviceable wine with food. I believe this runs about 13.5% alcohol. Yep, 13.5% alcohol. Um, very good, fruit friendly uh, base wine. So, if you're looking for a nice Cabernet to uh, pair up with some of your heartier meats and stuff like that, uh, the Castle Rock here, 2007, be a great choice there for that one there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll try out the Hess Select 2007. We'll get this here. We'll rinse out the glass. As you notice, I always rinse out the glass with the next wine. Most people will have a tendency when they go to wine tasting to rinse out their glass with water. Well, when you do that, if I was to leave this glass here for a while, you can just see already, just by rinsing that glass out, I have a little bit uh, residue left there from the uh, wine. But if I was to have washed that out with water, that would have been what would, what would be left of just water. So I would have practically diluted my next tasting. So we always ask for a wine uh, rinse Rinse out your glass with the next wine that you're going to taste out and then get what is known as your pour. So that way you'll get 100% of the full taste of the wine. Now in the Hess Select 2007 Cabernet here, we'll see, now this has a darker uh, you know, color texture in there than the uh, Hess Select. This one is really dark, almost like a uh, dark cherries and stuff. So this would be dark cherry as opposed to the sweet cherries from the um, uh, Castle Rock right there. So we'll get this one here a little smell out. 
Mm. A little lighter on the nose, a little uh, aromatically challenged on this one here. There we go. Just needs to open up a little bit more. Uh, Hess, Hess has four vineyards that they pick their grapes from and out of the four only three are uh, for red grapes and stuff. The Sewell Skull Vineyard is the only vineyard of theirs that is strictly white and it does the Chardonnay. The uh, Beater Summit, the Beater Hill, and the Alumi Vineyard all do the Cabernet. Now the Beater Summit Vineyard has 17 acres uh, set aside for Cabernet. The Beater Hill Vineyard has 112 acres and the Alumi Vineyard has 150 acres. So a lot of acreage set aside for Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, yeah, after you uh, swirl around, if you were to decant this a little longer and stuff, uh, the nose comes out a little uh, fuller, brighter. A lot of, there you go, a lot of pepper on the nose here. So we'll give this one here a taste out. That has a really big pepper finish at the end. If you like to have your steak and you like to uh, pound down the peppers on there, this wine right here, you will definitely not need to uh, pound down the original pepper. Grab that steak, put it on the uh, grill for five minutes on each side, pull that baby off, pour yourself a nice Hess Select right in there and have that with it without putting the uh, dressings and the coatings on there you would really get a lot of the uh, black pepper up out of there. That's really good, got a nice finish. Still lingering, lingering in my mouth. So all in all, this is a very good fruit wine here. And this one is also 13.5% alcohol. So this here is, would be another great fruit friendly wine to uh, seek out, especially now with the holiday season coming up. These wines here were purchased at Anderson Fine Wine and Spirits uh, on the corner of Foster and Clark up in Andersonville. Stop on by there, tell the gentlemen that you saw it here on Bottle Grapes, and they'll hook you up. Uh, this is Crunch Crutchmar, tasted on all the bad wines, so you don't have to.